Local experts are calling on government to enforce provisions of the Building Act, which prohibit construction in some disaster-prone areas. But the local government minister insists that legal loopholes are hindering their efforts. TVJ's Giovanni Dennis has this primetime news follow-up. A family of five drowned in the San de in St. Andrew when their house was swept away during Tropical Storm Nicole in September 2010. Nine years later, these houses too are precariously perched on the banks of the Queen's Gully. Similar structures are in Cassava P, St. Andrew. But these houses shouldn't be built here. No build zones are very important legislative tools that allow um, for the prevention of unauthorized construction in areas that are prone to anything, prone to flooding, storm surge, landslides, um, anything. Uh, it's something that you can, have a you can have legislation and you have to have the enforcement of the legislation. Those two things have to go hand in glove. Except in Jamaica, the laws are not always enforced. We tend to have too much unauthorized construction to begin with. So it means nothing to have legislation if it's not enforced. It means nothing to, to have um, legislation that is selectively enforced. The Building Act was passed in 2018 after years of lobbying. Section 17 prohibits construction without a building permit or in some instances a planning permit. Experts question government's willingness to enforce the law. Do we have an enforcement problem? I, will, I am going to leave that question for the public to answer because I am sure they have the evidence all around them from our driving on the streets to our building to the way we behave. Local government minister Desmond McKenzie argues that the law protects illegal builders. He says sometimes the authority wants to knock down an illegal structure and serves a notice to do it, but... That person has a right of appeal even though the structure is illegal and it is built in, in, in the middle of a riverbed, and they can't take it to the courts. So, you know, it is one thing for us to talk about the local authorities is not enforcing. Disaster-prone areas like Portland Cottage in Clarendon were declared no-build zones in 2004. Yet in 2017, senior engineer at the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, Jeremy Lawrence, noted that construction is still taking place there. In September, we saw building materials on some premises. For Dr. Carby, leniency should be given to old structures that contravene the new law. The way forward would be to, quote unquote, draw the line in the sand now and enforce going from now forward. Then, when you have managed to do that effectively, you can then think about retroactively now moving people and so on and so forth. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.